If you love Jesus, ApostolicSunnySchool.com I got my thing today. Um, this is my can of super secret stuff. I don't know if you can read it. Hold on. Super secret stuff. There we go. Yeah. I decided I wanted to talk about the will of God today. It made me so excited. I was so, so excited. Man, I just... Whoops. Well, uh, that that wasn't supposed to happen. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. It's time for a bit of, you know, uh, improvisation. Yeah, that's the word. Okay. A lot of people think uh, that the will of God is like a $100 bill. And yes, it's real, guys. It's real. And they think it's like lightning, clouds parting, and God speaking in a booming voice going, Delaney. I am sending you to the far off regions of Rialto to go and teach the Sunday school kids. It, it, it didn't happen like that for me, man. You know? Some people it happens like that for them, but for me, nah. Sometimes doing the will of God is more like, I need to do my schoolwork so I can be a good student, get good grades. That's how I become successful. That's how, that's the next thing that God wants me to do, you know? And sometimes it's, cleaning my room like I'm supposed to, or my mom tells me, or being nice to my siblings even though we're stuck in the house for 80 million hours a day. So I don't know if you can tell, but these are, these are pennies. Yeah. And so they add up. You do the little things and they just add up. They add up. Like say you're nice to your sibling even though they're mean to you, or your trash blows into the neighbor's yard and you go and you pick it up, or it's not even your trash and still you go and pick it up. Or maybe your grandma... Your grandma's not feeling too good, and maybe you can't go visit her right now because she's far away, and you write her a letter, and she can hear from you, and that would be a really, really nice thing, like extra nice. When you go back to school, maybe you don't use those mean words that you used to, and that's doing the will of God. Some other things that are doing the will of God are reading your Bible every day, and it's maybe just a chapter, which may not seem like a lot, but if you keep at it, Every day, it adds up really big. Because ultimately, the $100 bill is made out of a lot of pennies. It's a lot, a lot of pennies. Make this. And so whenever you get to heaven and you've stored up all of the things that you've done for God, God keeps everything that you do for him. He keeps it, and he keeps record of it because you guys are important to him, and he is so happy when you guys surrender to him and let him use you to be a tool of goodness in this world that's so sad and crazy and people are lonely. But God will keep every single thing that you do for him. He's gonna, it's going to all add up, and then someday you'll trade this in for a crown. The Bible says that when we get to heaven, we will receive a crown of glory. It's not even going to compare to the crowns that kings and queens wear here. It's going to be heavenly and beautiful. And so remember, do the little things right now, and ultimately God's will will work out for your life. Bye, guys!